Low E glass is a tinted glass. When you and I look at it, it just looks like, hey, this window's got a tint on it and it's darker. Low E is ac actually a microscopic metal fleck applied to glass. And it kind of like works like an awning. It, whoever invented it's a genius. It's got an angle so that when the sun's rays hit the glass, they're reflected back out. But in the summertime, when the sun's high, that works. In the wintertime, when the sun's lower, the angle actually allows the heat to enter in. And so low E reflects the heat to its source most often. And so, and you have different, you have northern, central, and southern states. And so the low E has to be put on at a different angle, depending on what part of the country you're in. And so it's, 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 a, it's a development. I don't know if it came back in the 60s, the 70s. I honestly don't know that. But it makes a significant difference in how much heat transfers through the actual glass. And when I say that, I kind of need to explain that better. Ultimately, heat will pass through it. it. Nothing stops heat. The earth itself doesn't stop heat from transferring through it. It resists it. It slows it down. In low E, it takes longer for the heat to transfer through the glass before it becomes the glass becomes heated and then transfers to the inside of the home or what have you. And so the benefit of having low E, and this is just kind of explaining our whole triple glass premise here, is when the sun hits the low E, it resists it for a while. So it takes longer for that pane of glass to become heated. But ultimately, it, it does become heated. Then you have the first dead air space that's filled with argon gas. That slows down the heating of that dead airspace, but ultimately it becomes heated. Then it hits the center pane of glass, which has low E on it. It slows down the heating of that glass, but ultimately it becomes heated. Then it hits the next dead airspace of argon gas, and ultimately it becomes heated. And then it hits the last pane of glass with low E on it, and it slows it down, but ultimately it becomes heated. But you have all those barricades against the heat transferring through that it takes longer for the heat to penetrate the glass to get inside your home to begin then heating the inside of your home. This is obviously a summertime example. And then wintertime, it's the complete reverse. It's heat escaping and getting to the outside. And so nothing stops the transfer of hot and cold. It's just resist or slows down the transference. The more layers you put against it, the more barriers or resistance, the longer it takes for the hotter the cold to permeate or penetrate your home. The less your utilities are used, your furnace doesn't run as hard or as often, your air conditioner doesn't run as strong or as often, so it saves you energy. But then, like I use myself, I'm 50-something years old now, I'm at the point in my life where if I'm hot at home, I'll turn the air conditioning down, and if I'm cold, I'll turn the heater up because I don't want to be hot or cold anymore. Well, because I have our windows, there's far less temperature variance because the triple glass takes so much longer for the hot and cold to transfer through it. And so I stay more comfortable for a longer period of time in my house. So I'm not fooling with the thermostat because it, it stays warmer longer or it stays cooler longer depending upon the season. So not only do I have the benefit of the fuel savings, which is dollars in my pocket that I'm not giving to the energy company, but I'm also staying comfortable for a longer period. And that's the big, you know, that's this very simplistic way of saying why triple get glass is better than double glass. Now, if I made triple glass and I didn't have argon and I didn't have low E tint, well, then it wouldn't be as efficient as some double glass windows that have argon and low E tint. But I'm a company that has three coats of low E, two dead air spaces of argon. And so consequently, I have as many barriers as you can have right now against the outside hot or cold and so that's why our window is so much more efficient.